I'm concerned by Azerbaijan's bellicose rhetoric and sporadic outbursts of violence against, uh, along the Nargono-Karabakh line of contact, which undermine diplomatic efforts to peacefully resolve the conflict. If confirmed, what steps will you take to urge the Azerbaijani government to step back from its threatening behavior and permit necessary monitoring along the line of contact? Thank you very much, Senator. Um, as one of the three co-chairs of the Minsk Group process uh, that is working to achieve a peaceful settlement uh, to the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict, uh, we are working along the lines of three principles. Uh, one is the, the non-use of force and, and the non-threat of the use of force. The second is the respect for territorial integrity, and the third is the rights of peoples to self-determination. All three of those are important. Any, any agreement or settlement that does not fully take all three into account is unlikely to succeed. For that reason, uh, all of the co-chairs, uh, the U.S. especially, uh, condemns any violence and any threat of the use of violence uh, along the line of contact. It undermines the peace process. It violates the 1994 ceasefire uh, and, and is very unhelpful. So if confirmed, uh, I will continue to support the efforts of uh, uh, Andrew Schofer, who is our U.S. co-chair to the Minsk Group process, uh, and will urge the government of Azerbaijan to work cooperatively to help settle this conflict. Mm -hmm. So I, I will take that, that as part of your overall uh, answer, that you would urge the, all the parties, but certainly since you're going to be uh, the ambassador of the United States to Azerbaijan to urge the Azerbaijanis to uh, step back from any threatening behavior that disrupts uh, the line of contact. Is that a fair statement? That's a fair statement, sir. Do you support the provision of security assistance to Azerbaijan and should it be tied to progress towards a peaceful settlement of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict or to progress on accountability for human rights abuses committed by Azerbaijani security forces? Thank you, Senator, for that question. Um, the U.S. does uh, provide some security assistance to Azerbaijan, and we do it because it directly serves U.S. national interests. Uh, our security cooperation is focused in, uh, in, in, in areas such as reinforcing Azerbaijan's border security along its southern border with Iran, clearly in our interest towards enhancing its maritime uh, uh, awareness and the ability to secure and safeguard its uh, important energy infrastructure in the Caspian Sea. That's also clearly in our interest as we try to uh, support and help Azerbaijan to develop uh, Western export routes for, to get its energy resources to European markets and reduce Europe's dependence on Russian energy sources. Uh, and we also, uh, uh, focus our security assistance on counterterrorism training and, and capabilities to combat violent extremism and, and the threat of violent extremism. So those are all core U.S. security interests. I, I, now, pre in, I appreciate that. S Senator, in, in carrying out all of this assistance, we are very careful to ensure that nothing that we do or provide to Azerbaijan undermines the effort to reach a peaceful settlement of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. Mm -hmm. And as many other places in the world, I'll just end on this, Mr. Chairman, and other, many other places in the world where we provide security assistance, one of the concerns of this committee, which has jurisdiction over arms sales uh, and other forms of assistance, is that while all of the stated reasons you gave me as to why we provide security assistance to Azerbaijan may be very valuable, we also don't want to see human rights abuses by the very forces that we arm. So will you commit yourself to making sure that that is part of what you're looking at uh, if you are to be confirmed? Senator, thank you. And absolutely, and I apologize, I failed to mention that an important component of the security assistance that we provide Azerbaijan includes training in human rights and the respect for human rights. Mm -hmm. So this actually affords us another avenue to engage the government of Azerbaijan on this important issue. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.